about getting a gun. <laughs> oh my God. I, I, I know people don't like it, but you gotta. What am I supposed to make up? Get a windmill, right? And start growing <laughs> zucchini. <laughs> and then what? All I'm doing is just growing that for the strongest guy in the block, you know? <laughs> You gotta come in and take. Why, this is why the pumpkin didn't work. <laughs> People just. <laughs> you guys gotta come and take all your zucchini. No, I'm serious. I've been going to gun stores and. Oh uh, my God. I have, and these rednecks are all telling me the same thing because I didn't grow up with guns. So they're just going, all right, you never had a gun. You want to get yourself a shotgun. It's got a great spread. That's what they keep saying. It's got a great spread. You don't even gotta aim. You got a problem, you just sort of whip around. <laughs> Right. I'm sitting there, I'm like, dude, I just want to shoot the guy. I don't have to do like a bunch of drywall work to like, reframe my diploma. So, yeah, uh, do, are, you at, uh, are you with your girlfriend uh, living in LA? Yes, I am. I'm okay. technically married, but I'm married how like I want to be married. Yeah. Which is, I don't sign that behind the music contract <laughs> where, you know, <laughs> everything works it's, out until it doesn't work out. Had... <laughs> yeah. No, you see, Sugar Shay Mosey, one of the greatest boxers of all time, he's losing his championship belt in a divorce. Oh, that's not losing, yeah, it's like you're trying to break a man. Why does she want those? <laughs> right? Gonna break they, a they, man. They, they, they go with their shoes. <laughs> When you get a divorce, all of a sudden it costs like 50 grand a month to give a kid Fruit Loops. Right? <laughs> you guys, I'm telling you, there all of a sudden. is an epidemic of gold digging whores in this country. <laughs> and it is just not being addressed oh my God. on any level. What are you talking any about? Level. What do you mean, what am I talking about? Every guy out there is just getting, the, nobody's safe. <laughs> oh my God. Nobody's safe. <laughs> Football you players, you actors, crazy. politicians. Nobody. And they never sick. get called horse. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger's maid is still called the maid <laughs> in the story. <laughs> she knew his wife on a first name basis, hooked up with this dude in their bed, and is still called the maid. <laughs> Why did she bang him? <laughs> Why? Jeez, yeah. Because of that 1987 flat top he's still rocking, right? <laughs> You don't think it's because of that kindergarten cop money he's got laying around the room? I'm not, and listen, I'm not condoning what the man did, but yeah. you know, there just needs to be, guys need to be educated. There's nothing out there to help a guy handle becoming rich and famous for that, that, that platoon of whores that's going to come <laughs> over the hill. Like, like Braveheart, faces painted, oh skirt God. on, just platoon running down of the whores. Hill. Yes. There's nothing out there. No, it's like guys never learn how to keep themselves in check. Society does it for you. Yeah. Just women aren't going to bang you because you drive the forklift at Home Depot. Right? <laughs> Despite the fact that you want to bang all of them, they're not going to do it. So you didn't keep yourself in check. The forklift job did. Right? <laughs> then all of a sudden you hit a lot, the lottery, you know? Yeah. And then you can just give in to all of that. Like, I don't, I'm so sick of all these trolls coming on TV, <laughs> judging these great men. <laughs> these great men, all these guys, anytime one of these guys gets caught for screwing around, these guys come waddling out of their cubicles with their jowls, their absolutely reprehensible behavior. <laughs> like, they have any idea what it's like to be tempted at that level, you know? Yeah. yeah. As you walk over to your Ford Focus, are you really beating these women off of you? All those people who judge Tiger Woods. How many people here golf? When was the last time you walked off the 18th hole and there was a busload of Scandinavian women waiting to hump your brains out? And you're like, sorry, ladies. You know? And like I said. Oh thank you. You guys, Bill Burr is his name. Uh,